What's going on everybody? I wanted to do a video that I haven't necessarily seen floating around as of right now. And so what I wanted to do was give my take on mounting a trolling motor on an Old Town Topwater PDL. Um, basically, I've seen a bunch of ideas of people doing and take, doing their take on how to mount a you know a trolling motor, and the way that I wanted to do it, which I've seen on on some Facebook groups that I'm in, where people were uh, was people were putting their trolling motor like down into where like the drive goes. You know what I mean? Like, you know what how it's made. So I wanted to do my take on it. Um, what I did was I searched on Amazon, or at least I looked around, tried to see what I could find, and I came across like this giant cutting board thing. So something that's really strong, really durable. Um, I'll leave the link for this down in the description below. It's, I'm you know, 100% sure this is gonna work. And I, I got some advice from I think a guy named, dang it, let me find his name because I do wanna give him credit because he replied to my comment on his video. The guy, okay, so yes, sorry. The guy's name is California Outdoors, and uh, make sure you check his channel out. He actually gave me the idea. Um, he has a video on himself making a, you know, the, you know, the he's, he's making, he made the thing that goes in the thing. And then I told him, like, dude, how did you go about, like, finding the, you know, how to, to, to get the shape, to be able to transfer it, to cut it. And he said, or I use foil, and I, you know, I molded it around the, you know, the shape of it. And then from that foil, I put it on some cardboard. That way I had like a template. And then on my template, he put it on his, the, the wood that he was cutting. And so I'm gonna do the same thing, only I'm gonna do it on a cutting board. And then we'll go about it. And I, I guess I'm just gonna take you guys on, you know, on the journey with me. That way I can tell you what went right, what went wrong, and then hopefully this can work out for you. But I think I've compiled enough ideas to where I could do this and then maybe pass some knowledge on, or at least someone can make it better. Some people just get a boat, bro. We just like to have fun, bro. Um, all right, so let's get started on this. First thing I'm gonna do is I do have my trusty foil right here. Like I said, we're gonna mold it around the gap and see what happens. I have no clue how California Outdoors did this. This is just just from what I assume would be how you do it, right? Okay, maybe maybe I'm not doing this right. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. So as long as I'm getting like some angles, I think this could work out. So I got this piece of cardboard right here. It's actually some poster board. I got it at at the dollar store, and you know now we can kind of trace this onto the board. And then obviously the foil isn't gonna be like a perfect footprint of what that gap was. It's just to kind of have an idea. So I'm gonna go a little wider. Okay, now let's just start cutting around. There's probably an easier way to do this. I know some people out there are probably a lot better at this than me, so. All right, thanks foil. You were a lot of help. This is where it gets a little serious to where we need to like be pretty spot on. I'm probably gonna use a straight line for reference. Probably go, always go a little bit wider. Pretty spot on until about right here. Here, around here. I feel like freaking the guy from Blue's Clues, bro, with this crayon. Um, also, crayon or crayon? How do you guys pronounce that? Leave that down in the comment section below because I just had this conversation with my students and I said, is it crayon? Is that how you pronounce it, or do you pronounce it crayon? I'm curious. I'm curious to what you guys think. Also, thanks. We got about right there. We just gotta get that guy straight. Let's go straight across. So now comes the fun part. We're gonna start cutting this guy up and uh, see if it works. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my drill and just drill out almost like drill out the template of this guy. So I might be able to like knock off caveman style all these pieces and just be able to file it down, not even have to use a saw. After about 10 minutes of just drilling, we have our template cut out for the most part. I'm gonna see if I can just smash this dude with a hammer and see what happens. All right, here it goes. 
Oh, that, that just is a testament of how tough this stuff is. Oh, there we go. Check it. Check it, bro. I didn't even need to use a saw, bro. All right, so I got my file here. And I'm going to go with the file opposed to something else because I don't want to cut off big pieces at a time. I'm just trying to get this guy to, to perfect and fit perfectly in the hole. And just take a look at what this file is doing. I don't know what any specificity of this file, but this thing is just grinding this off. So it's been about 15 minutes of uh, literally hand filing down this uh, cutting board. And for the most part, it's looking pretty good. Obviously, I'm gonna need to clean up some of the edges, but for the most part, it's coming into shape. See that? So we're gonna keep filing. We got this little piece left, and then we'll take it to the kayak and kind of just find out, uh, you know, how it fits and clean it up some more. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, but you know, it worked out just fine. I did go to, uh, you know, the local pipe place and I managed to get some things. These things cost me, it was 12 bucks for this. So all the stuff I have in here. Um, and we're gonna check it out. Uh, we're gonna drill into here. And what we're, they didn't have like the fancy thing that's like a, an actual circle that you place on your drill. They're out of stock. And so we're gonna get a little, little crazy. And this is for wood but we're gonna drill straight into here and uh, hopefully this doesn't destroy this thing, but we'll get through here. That way we can at least start working the trolling motor through this guy. I don't know, we're just gonna eyeball this. The picture I saw, he had it about midway of this. So it was about half. And that was the positioning for about right here. So now we're gonna take this wood. This thing's just got a terrible idea written all over it, doesn't it, folks? You guys are probably watching at home just cringing. Just absolutely cringing. Because if I'm cringing, then you sure as crap are, are cringing as well. Now we just need to make sure we're going straight. All right, I'm into the wood. I made it through. Okay. It actually looks really good. It actually looks too good. Okay, the next thing was gonna be cutting the shaft to get the trolling motor through here. All right, so we're going 18 inches on the shaft. 18 inches is gonna put us at right here. these guys off beat the connectors off because um, everything is basically it's got its name on it this guy right here to be able to actually pull the head off but I didn't little bolt came out now we should pull this guy off so we took this off we're gonna have to take this guy off you know okay we are doing some major major taking apart so this is what it looks like now stripped down these guys will go through here and then we'll put the trolling motor through here look at that look at that dude it fits snug as a bug in a rug dude look it look at that that is so sick and then this guy will just go in here like that oh dude this is freaking amazing all right, so we got that uh, separated. I'm not gonna tell you guys how I did it, but we got that separated. So we got it cut down to 18 inches now. So let's do the weather seal on this. Weather seal here and we'll just try to keep the water obviously from entering the kayak, so. So right now we just had a breakthrough idea. I went with a one inch compression fitting and uh, 
when it's tightened down both sides can still be moved around and so the issue was the three-quarter compression fitting would just not fit the idea was to go and get a three-quarter compression fitting but if you notice it just does not go on I figured you know what I'm just gonna wrap the entire shaft with some black you know electrical tape and then that way you know it, it becomes wider and the compression fitting can grab this and that was gonna be my plan and it, it finally just struck me and I'm glad that I'm you know I'm thinking of all these things that way you don't have to go through these trial and errors so if you notice on a compression fitting, there's this little rubber gasket dude that's in here, a little seal. And so when you start tightening the, you know, the cap or the end onto the compression fitting, um, that seal grips hold of, you know, the shaft, for instance, like when it was gripping this guy. What I did with this guy, and it's such a simple concept, I can't believe I didn't think of it before. I just wrapped the gasket seven layers of black electrical tape and you, and just check out the difference it makes as we start tightening it I showed you guys before what it looked like when it was fully tightened down now with that little um, with that black electrical tape that's fully tightened and check this thing out this thing does not move I could if I really exert some force I could twist it off and that's just with one seal on and so once we get the second seal this guy's not gonna move anywhere that is a breakthrough idea and I'm glad I had it, and so hopefully I, that works out for you. Okay, so we're gonna undo this guy now, and we're gonna place him on top, and we've cracked the code. All right, folks, so we're on like day three of this build, whatever, and I just keep having ideas with the trolling motor. Um, you know, how I had the cables coming through the top like this. Um, and I just, I've had so many different ideas where I was going to mount this guy. Well, the original idea was to like mount the trolling head here. Maybe we could, uh, you know, put it back here. But now I have a crazy er idea. I'm thinking I'm just going to take and drill directly into the shaft of the trolling motor. So it almost take a chunk out of the, the, you know, the black shaft. And then feed the wires through here and then possibly tee off. I know it seems, it seems like this build's been taking forever. I just want it to be perfect and I want it to be aesthetically pleasing and I just want to possibly put out the best way. You know what, I'm just gonna start drilling some stuff and then we'll just see what works out. And so if you've made it this far into the build and you've watched this part, then this part has definitely made the cut um, because I've been changing ideas almost every day when I just sit down to really think about what would be the nicest way to do this um, So let's check it. I was able to somewhat scratch out You know a little circle here on the, the motor. We're gonna cut into this guy and then bring the wires through here See what I'm doing Get this guy through here And we did it so here we go Okay, so the next thing now feeding the wires up through here. I wonder if we can take this off. Might be a little easier to navigate. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, take this guy off first. Need to flatten these cords out a little bit. Tricky, but it works. This guy. Check it out. Now we got the wires coming through here. Take the one inch to three quarter, feed that. Everything's looking solid. Now, like I was telling you guys with the head, with the head here, it's gonna be sitting, you know, you know, like between my legs. A little bit kind of funny. So if I just happen to move it at least midway, it'll tighten that profile up. Here we got that. Should be perfect fit. There we go, man. Now we're just gonna have to put this guy together and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tee off right here. We want just enough to go into here and tee off into another T. All right, so we, we glued this guy here. Okay, it looks good, man. We actually need to drill out the back here, little hole to be able to put the power cable, the red and black, 
screw here to have the battery inside. So on this awkward T piece here, I just drilled a hole here. I found the biggest drill bit that I could. And then we're gonna put the black in here. So now we'll have the battery off the front. I hope that's okay. We'll work on getting the head mounted. And then now we gotta run the cables, the speeds and stuff up through the same hole and get ready to mount the head on. Sweet! Boom. Now we just gotta put this piece of PVC here. I appreciate you guys watching for sure. This is has been a lot of stress <laughs> trying to figure out how exactly I wanted this. So hopefully it's worth your time. Hopefully it works out for you. Let's work on getting this guy glued up. We don't want it to move, but we don't need a wicked amount of it. There's that. Looks generous enough. And now we're just gonna go like that. Everything is solid now. And that's all she wrote, folks. Look at that. There's my trolling motor setup. Now the last thing we do is we're gonna put a little bit of PVC here, start working those wires up into the head, have the head sit here. We got the power cables back here and battery here. Oh, yes, it's looking great. Measurement on this guy, three and a half inches. Went from five and a half to three and a half. Now we can just start plugging in all the cables. Heads in. Looks like this is gonna be it, man. But well, really quick, some advice. Get these holes on this PVC pipe, the three and a half inch guy. Get through your guide holes in there already. I ran into the issue where I could not get in straight to because there wasn't enough room. So my advice to you, get those guide holes put in first. That way you can just punch your screw in and be done. All right guys, that's it. That's the final build. A lot different than what it looked like when we first were gonna start it. So I got my battery right here, and I know it's not a lithium or any of those fancy batteries. I just don't have one yet. It's just like this Walmart battery, it was 40 bucks. And I've had it for a few years. All right, fingers crossed together. Let's see, see if we can hear it, listen, listen. Let's put it in and make sure it's gonna work. One, two, three, four, five. Speed one, two, three, four, five. Make sure all the reverse works. Everything. I didn't mess this up. This is insane. Look at this build again. And the way that it'll look like when it's all said and done, it's gonna probably be a little top heavy. I gotta figure something out. This is just like, clean profile. I'll get a weight on what this guy weighs and compare it to the PDL drive. I'll leave that info down in the description below and then I'll also weigh what my value battery is. But that's it folks. So hopefully this video helps you create your own trolling motor setup. Maybe it inspires you to do something differently. Is this build for me personally was less than a hundred dollars. I found this trolling motor for 25 bucks at Walmart. This is usually about a hundred dollars. And so this would be the most expensive part of your build. The, the cutting board was 17 and then the PVC and parts and scraps that I bought that you'll see everything that was used in the video, especially with the weather seal was about, you know, 25 bucks. So this entire build for me personally, was less than $100. We're just gonna say less than 100. The last thing to do is to go out and try this guy. Also, make sure if you're gonna be putting trolling motor on your kayak, that you get it registered and, and all that fancy stuff. Um, I don't want you to get in trouble. Thank you guys, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you. If you like this video, please give me a like. Consider subscribing. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Let's get this boat on the water. All right, and this wouldn't be a proper build video without showing the final product. Let's check it. Whew, everything is still frozen over here in Washington. Even the boat launch, half of it's frozen. This is speed five right here. We're just cooking. Look at this. This thing works amazing. Look at this. Yeah, 
baby. Slow it down a bit, slow it down a bit. Don't want to get pulled over out here. Wow. This thing is incredible. Let's, let's try out reverse. You know, it's Old Town, so we got that instant reverse. And I, honestly, the room is, there's decent room here. This is awesome. Amazing, amazing. And then nothing beats Pacific Northwest sunset. I always say it.